Hey guys, it's Ange, and today I'm going to be reviewing the new Sunny's Face Lip Treat. Okay, so I have two shades of the lip treat here. I have Sakura and Juice, and I bought this on their Shopee for... I forgot how much, but I did redeem my Shopee coins. I had like 90 Shopee coins, so I did get a discount on this. So, yes. <laughs> anyway, before we jump in, I haven't actually opened this or swatched them or anything. I'm going to be taking a look first at the product's claims. I'm on the Sunny's Face website right now, and let's take a look at what is inside of your lip treat or what its main ingredients are. And the first one here says... Shea butter, so I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but shea butter, shea butter. It is an emollient that instantly moisturizes and soothes your lips. It also has meadow foam seed oil, which is a natural extract that locks in moisture to protect from dryness. And it has collagen, which is a blend of amino acids that softens fine lines and plumps lips. And lastly, it has vitamin E, which is an antioxidant that protects against sun and environmental damages. It also has a buttery formula that moisturizes your lips in one balmy swipe. And honestly, my first impression of this product is that it's, it's like a tinted lip balm. I mean, that's what's coming off to me based on everything I see from their Instagram, their stories. I see all of these people swatching and it has a sheer wash of color, which I'm actually really into. Like, if you know me, Whenever I apply liquid lipstick, I always, always blot it after. Like, I don't really like the look of full pigment on my lips. I always want it to be just a very natural look. Anyway, let's get into the actual product itself. So, I have two shades, as I said. I have Juice and Sakura. And let's open the packaging. Okay, so it comes in a box. <laughs> it is pretty glossy. And Lip Treat is embossed or debossed on one side. And their branding is on the other side. And I, I think it's like a pretty known thing that Sunny's face kills it with packaging every single time. So yeah. So this is what it looks like. It actually just looks like their fluff matte lipsticks but longer. So yeah, it has that same cream body and plastic. If I'm not mistaken, plastic. But it also has that weighty feel to it. So let's open it up, and this is what it looks like. It's pretty thin. It's thinner than the fluff mat, and you get... I'm scared to twist it all up because maybe it won't come back. But let's see how much product you get. Oh my god, I'm so scared. Okay, I think this is how much product you get in one... Um, one stick, <laughs> in one package. And how many grams though? It's 2.8 grams. Okay, before we swatch this, I actually compared. I have the fluff mat here in Nudist and Juice. So this is the size difference. And they both cost 3.95 pesos. And for the fluff mat, you get 3.2 grams of product. And for Lip Treat, you get 2.8. So one thing that you should note as you get more out of the fluff mat, but it is a totally different product. So, yeah, just wanted to point that one out. Okay, so let us finally, finally swatch this. I've actually been super excited to swatch this because I got this yesterday. And I got it because I wanted to film my first impression. So, this is juice. So, let us swatch it on my wrist over here. So this is what juice looks like swatched on my arm. I will be posting or placing a picture right there of a close-up of the swatches. But in their Instagram, they claim that um, juice is a berry rose. And it's actually quite um, accurate. Like, I really like the color. And when I swatched it on my arm, it did feel super emollient and super moisturizing. And let us swatch it on my lips. Some cats are fighting outside my window right now. Okay, so this is what juice looks like. I'm gonna do one swipe first and I have nothing on my lips, not even lip balm or anything. Kumusta naman yung mga nag na pusa sa labas? Okay, 
so this is what juice looks like after one swipe and i actually really love the color and i love how sheer it is but it's more like i there's more pigment than i'm actually used to compared to other tinted lip balms that i've tried although this doesn't really claim to be a tinted lip balm but it does have a very very like my lips are super glossy right now and i love the feel and after one swipe it's a bit sticky like just a touch sticky but i like the, i like the way it looks actually and i have some dry patches on my lips right now but it doesn't really emphasize it or anything like that and yeah i actually really like this so far <laughs> let's check the other shade i just removed juice from my lips and i'm not sure but i think it did leave a bit of a stain on my lips because my lips look a bit more red than they usually are <laughs> maybe that's just me wiping off like the middle of my lips ko. pero yeah it is it did it did kind of leave a reddish tint to it and that was just after one swipe which i think was pretty pretty impressive moving on to the next shade we have sakura and this is actually the shade i was most looking forward to because i love um, pinkish shades and on their Instagram it says that Sakura is a warm pink and I am very into that I also love Sakura blossoms in Japan <laughs> so yeah let's swatch this on my arm first this is how it looks like and I don't wanna do that thing again because I, I won't risk um, breaking this so let us swatch it over here Okay, so this is Juice and this is Sakura. And honestly, Sakura looks a bit orange to me. Or maybe it's just because my lighting is kind of yellow. So it's kind of making the swatch look orangey. But let's look at what this looks like on my lips. what sakura looks like on my lips and i love the shade like at first i was medio iffy because it looked orange here on my arm but when i swatched it uh, when i tried it on my lips it didn't look orange at all it looked like a warm pink like they said on their instagram and yeah i did have to double up on my bottom lip just because i think juice left a bit of a tint on my lips and I really do love the shade. Like, I really love warm pinks and rosy pinks and stuff. So this is definitely up my alley. So yeah, I can't stop <laughs> looking at my lips for some reason. Because I'm not used to wearing lip gloss. And this is the first, like, product I'm trying that is kind of a gloss. And it is very, very moisturizing. Like, I can feel my lips being moisturized <laughs> first impressions of the lip treat okay so of the two shades i got i think i prefer juice more because i like how it leaves a tint on your lips compared to sakura which is a bit too light for me i think but i do love how both of these shades look very natural and have a very sheer wash of color although it's not super sheer that you don't see it anymore it makes your lips look more like your lips but better like mlbb do i see myself using this on a regular basis right now i think maybe because yeah i do use lip balm a lot and i do look for that wash of color so I apply a water tint but this one gives you that two in one already so it is a very effortless product and it makes you look put together even if you just did just one swipe and you're out the door and you're ready for your errands or like your zoom calls or whatever so definitely this is for that person on the go who wants to look put together but doesn't want to exert too much effort i will say though that after a few minutes of it being on my lips it does feel a bit sticky and it doesn't like claim to be lightweight or anything like that because it is a lip treat and it is a moisturizing product that's why it has a lot of emollient ingredients like vitamin e and shea butter which will definitely make you feel like there is something on your lips and 
For someone who wears a lot of lip balm, it isn't really a problem for me. Although it would get kind of annoying if you aren't used to it, especially when you're outside and it's windy and then your hair gets stuck in your lip balm and your lip gloss and stuff. So yeah, that is something to keep in mind. And if you don't like that, then I really would not suggest this product for you. Generally though, I feel like this product is a bit pricey for what it is and what you get. Although I will say that you can't replicate this with just normal lip balm and like um, a lip tint because it does have a different effect. Like it looks much more glossy than what I usually do with just a lip balm and water tint. I would suggest this product to those who are after the natural everyday makeup look. But if that's not your thing and if you would like more pigment or if glam makeup is what you're after, then I would suggest that you check out their other products like the Lip Dip and Fluff Matte because, I mean, this isn't a sponsored video or anything, but they're actually really good. And I'm super proud of all of these local brands like Sunny's Face, BLK, Colorette. I have some thoughts about Colorette, but that's for another time. But yeah, I'm just really proud of all of these local beauty brands because they're making huge waves in the beauty industry, especially for the Philippines. Like considering before when I first started doing makeup a few years ago, I was mostly shopping from um, international brands. I mean, we have Maybelline, we had NYX, and I don't think NYX is even here anymore. But yeah, I just really am proud, like as a beauty enthusiast, of how far the Philippines has come in the beauty industry. We have so many brands popping up everywhere, like small brands, big brands, you name it. We have so many of them already. And I'm just super excited to see what other products the local brands come up with. And on that wholesome note, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please do leave a like down below and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And comment your thoughts on this product if you've tried it and if you have any other makeup products or skincare products that you would want me to try out. And yeah, I think that's all I have to say. Thank you again so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!